Well, as we know, a second health care worker has become infected with Ebola, which begs the question whether procedures and protective clothing actually work. Our Business Week's Brendan Greeley visited the CDC yesterday to try to figure it out for himself. You put on the uh, yellow suit, Brendan. It's not um, just a yellow suit. It's a whole procedure. Yeah, right. It took, like, what, 30 minutes? It takes about half an hour to get in and get out. What I thought was interesting was the CDC is running this at a FEMA site in Alabama. <clears throat> but all of the knowledge comes from Doctors Without Borders because they've actually run what they call ETUs, Ebola treatment units. So the procedures are, if you look at what the CDC actually has on its website, it's got sort of, uh, you know, there's things you're supposed to put on, two gloves. Doctors Without Borders has you, one, you can't go in unless you have a buddy. You're both suiting up together. You're checking each other. You go in together. If at any moment anybody panics or feels compromised, you both leave together. They have mirrors as part of their procedures so that you can check that you're fitted correctly. And I think significantly, if you look at the CDC's guidelines, they still have skin exposed. When you are getting suited up by Doctors Without Borders, there's absolutely not a, a, a centimeter of flesh exposed. With the, with, that looks like your Halloween costume. I mean, it's not a joke, well, but, but it's that's intense, yeah. And, and by the way, these guys are wearing these suits in intense heat. I mean, you were in Alabama. I'm sure it was hot and muggy down there, but we're talking No, I mean, even scarier, Africa. it was 60 degrees, and I felt uncomfortable. Really? And so I can't imagine what How? that suit is like in 95. Am I right, Scarlett, that the first nurse that got sick, they believe it was taking off? It's ta it's so it's an elaborate procedure so, Yeah, so it's actually, yeah, so donning is hard enough. Doffing is even harder. What do you call it? Doffing. No. They actually, the official word is the removal. You, you take off. off your gear, right? So you take it off. But it's actually, there's some muscle memory involved because you've got, you've got clean surfaces on your hands that you've watch, washed, and you've got to get into the suit and get it off without touching any of the dirty surfaces. Again, what the CDC has done is they've got PDFs on their website. And if you're a hospital, you can go and check it out. But you actually have to learn how to do this. It's a yeah. little bit like a sport to okay. do it well.